We welcome all of you to Nissan Stadium on the banks of the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. Get strapped in. It's just about time to get the party started. And off we go from Nashville. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Love going to throw right away. That's complete. He finds Jaden Reed. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. That's a good start to the ball game. Maybe a little bit of a tone setter offensively. They come out throwing right away, and it's an early completion and a quick first down. Here's Love. That's complete to Dobbs. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Love. They go play action now. Completes it again to Dobbs. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 28. 23 yards the pick up there. This is all about finding the open space in the middle of the field. How do you do that? One way is through play action. That's going to freeze those linebacks for just a split second, and sometimes that's all you need. They run a deep in route behind them, and it works to perfection. He'll get this underneath to Jacobs. And down inside the 15 he goes. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Four consecutive passes to begin this opening drive, and you can't argue with the results. They've already driven it into the red zone and a fresh set of downs here to play with. Which means there's a lot of trust by the play caller, by the quarterback, the receivers, you name it. Everyone locked in, everyone doing their job. I continue to go in that direction because right now they got the defense back on their heels. Two yards on the pickup there, and that will bring up second down. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions, and just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Quick slant to Watson. It'll be a gain of five, and now it's third and three. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Romeo Dobbs from six yards away. And the Packers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Partner, are they going to cover him? Well, that's four catches in the touchdown grab on that opening drive. Well, what we're seeing so far, I believe, is their understanding that they want to go to him and often, but also they know they've got to move him around a little bit, get him into some different spots to continue to find open space to throw him the football. Otherwise, I just run two or three guys at him. They're doing a nice job of finding his way open, scheming him, as they like to say. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Levis back to throw. Twenty-three yards on the tuck and run. Well, that turned out better than most of the passes he could have thrown on that snap. The coverage downfield was excellent, but the containment close to home left him a backdoor escape, and they paid dearly for not locking up. Back to throw, it's Levis. A short throw taken in by Conquo. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, 
and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 29-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play caller right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it? kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. And they'll send the tight end in motion. They'll throw it again with Levis. That finds the former Jaguar, Calvin Ridley. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Levis sets up to throw here. A cock roll holds it in left side. And he will have a Titans first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser-focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. And here's a give to Spears. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially, no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. The 4 3 defense there did its job, funneled things right to the middle linebacker. If they do a nice job of playing team defense, everyone takes care of their responsibilities. That allows that guy in the middle to do his job, which is search and destroy. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Levis. And he lost the football, and the Packers pick it up. They'll send Reed in motion left. They got the fumble recovery. Now here's Love to pass. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. On play action, love to throw. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. And you don't want to pin this all on the quarterback, even when the pressure's coming, not easy for them, but that's just something you can't do is take that sack in the end zone. No, you can't, but for all defensive line coaches, they're celebrating everywhere. Because what do they tell us in our meetings? It's all about the get-off, beating the offensive line at the snap of the football. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Charles, you got to think the number one goal here is ball security. Remember last drive, they coughed it up. Then they allowed the touchdown, and now they're trailing on the scoreboard. Boy, the way you described it makes me think that that one actually hurt them three times. The fumble cost them potential points. Then they watched their opponent get a touchdown off of the fumble. And third, 
they lost the lead as a result. Really tough sequence right there. I don't think coaches have to remind them to hold on to the football. They've just got to find a way to get it done. Here's Levis. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And partner, to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Levis looking to throw. Got his man, a Conquo. Five yards, now it's third and five. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. And Levis going back to the air. Toward the sideline. Intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. Only able to gain a couple there at its second down. First carry for the All-Pro running back, it's Josh Jacobs. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Once again, it's Jacobs. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Here's Jacobs from the gun. And some strong running. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And that is incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field has popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Fourth down and no hesitation from Matt LaFleur as he sends out the field goal unit. And his kick here is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. The Titans' offense set to begin the drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Levis to throw it. And that falls to the ground incomplete. Well, a nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. Now Levis. 
linebacker pressure and down he goes making that play on the pass rush that's Devontae Wyatt a third and long you knew that he was going to throw it he just couldn't find anybody to throw it to yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield and coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time, and it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Play action this time with Love. Got his man. That's Luke Musgrave. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Again, it's Love. A short throw to Musgrave. And he's got Rome. And he's taken down inside the 30. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. It sort of looks like they stopped some fighting them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Throwing. Love. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. Love looking to throw it. Caught on the right side, Reed. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 13-yard line. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. To throw now, here's Love. That's hauled in by Musgrave for the Packer touchdown. From 13 yards out, and the Packers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. And what I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. 
So the Packer kickoff team set to go as they will kick this one away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. In motion goes the tight end. Levis out of the gun on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Again, he'll drop to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw again. A short throw taken in by Conquo. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Levis out of the shotgun now. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And the Packers are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we've come to halftime here with the visiting Packers out on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense is throwing at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive, but get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. 
The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. That's complete. It's Josh Wiley. And to the 36-yard line taken down there after getting eight yards. They went to their big body tight end on second down in hopes that he could plow his way to a first down. But they were ready for him defensively and ended up holding him to a modest gain. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. That one goes for eight yards. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Levis back to throw. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Tyler Boyd, 29 yards. And the Titans are able to cut into that deficit. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. About set to get this drive started, the Green Bay offense at the line. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. Eyes the crossing route and hits Watson. And still fighting. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 43 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. That'll be caught right side by Reed. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up second down. Now Love, over the middle complete, it's Reed. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They like going to him in the slot, he catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well, great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. He'll go over the middle to Reed, complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. My high school football coach was very fond of saying, you've got to meet force with force. 
and on a short yardage running play, that's what you're going to encounter. And how about them picking up the first down on that one? Love from the gun. Touchdown, Packers! Tucker Craft there to make the grab. And the Packers go up by two touchdowns. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Second 10 coming up here in Nashville. Third quarter action. Back to throw. It's Levis. It's complete to Hopkins. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. That might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Broken tackle. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 15 yards there on the play as they try to chip away at this 15-point deficit. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Levis sets up to throw here. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Off the play fake, Levis. That is incomplete. At this point in the game and the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Levis. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard. And they snap him short of the first as he can only get to the 20. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through, and they're hanging around here as the lead's down to 12. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter, look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. 
It's Packer football here as they've got the lead as well to begin the fourth quarter. Love, they go play action now. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. They called the corner blitz and Roger McCreary, he got in there and earned the sack. Well, on that one, they, they go with the play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Now that's a killer because you think you've got it absolutely covered, and then he hot-foots it out of there and picks up a first down. Drives you crazy as a defense. Looks like you're exactly right. Looked like a for-sure stop on third, and then the tables turn. Jacob's going to try the middle. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell him to back off of being aggressive. But sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose. And just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. And he's down into the red zone at the 15 after a gain of 15. First and 10. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Uh, he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second down and three. Ball on the seven. To pass. Here's Jordan Love. Caught on the slant. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Love. And it's a Packers touchdown. Luke Musgrave. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Packers have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. So the Packer kickoff team set to go as they will kick this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a pick. Touchdown, Titans! Calvin Ridley, 74 yards. And the Titans have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. You've got to understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. 
keep everything in front of you, rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three-score lead. Now it's down to two, but three-score lead here late. But they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this one's going to be covered up by the Packers' hands team. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. On play action. Love to throw. A short throw to Musgrave. He'll get it inside the 20. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Able to stay in bounds, and the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. Short completion, just four yards, and now it's third and three. That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. The Packers on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This time, it's third and three. Here's Love. Buying time to his left. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Jordan Love, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Packers have opened up a three-score lead as they pull away here in the fourth. Extra point attempt to follow here. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, it's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Here's Levis. A short throw taken in by Conquo, And he'll be taken down after a pickup of about seven as the clock will stop here for the two-minute warning. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Levis to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Titans first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. Well, you can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. Now again, it's Levis looking to throw it. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. 
An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Levis looking to throw. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. The one with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now Levis. He finds his man, Pollard. And he's not quite going to get to the marker. It'll be a gain of eight on third and ten. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first thanks to a flashy little spin move. They'll throw it again with Levis. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. I think this is what this game's become now. Just go deep, see if we can get something to go our way. Yeah, not the most creative or most inventive play call there, but not much has worked for them throughout this game. They're almost at a loss about what to dial up. Levis from the gun. That'll be complete to Okonkwo. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And a catch made by Hopkins. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. They'll look to throw again. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight, you just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Levis back to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. Back to throw again. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Calvin Ridley with now two fourth-quarter touchdowns, and the Titans get a bit closer. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Uh, yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't kinda, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Yeah. 
So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and, hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we sign off from Nashville.